Hello, today we're going to talk about the principle of transmissibility. So the principle of transmissibility states that a, the point of application of a force, particularly a point force, can be moved anywhere along its line of action without changing the analysis. It's kind of the formal definition we have here. Um, so <clears throat> this is true so long as we're looking at external forces. So an external force is the force that a body exerts on some other body. It's between two bodies. If we're looking at internal forces, it's kind of uh, if I'm looking at pulling on my arm here and I'm looking at the stress of the internal forces uh, in the bones of my arm, that would be something different. So in statics, we're only dealing with external forces, so this is not a problem. Uh, when we go into something like strengths and materials, then we're looking at internal forces. We can't use this as much. So <clears throat> we can use this top principle uh, whenever we have external forces. So an example of this, um, to kind of illustrate what this principle means, we're going to have a person pushing a cart with 100 pound force. It's going to cause the same result as a person pulling a cart with 100 pound force. So I've got a little red wagon down here. Uh, if I'm pulling this cart, so I've got 100 pounds pulling on the front of the cart, it's really going to do the same thing as if I've got 100 pound force pushing on the back of the cart. Um, so <clears throat> same two different points of application, either pushing at the back here or pulling up at the front here, but really the same result. So these two are interchangeable in our analysis. So the line of action is the other important part. So it can move, be moved anywhere along the line of action of the force. And the line of action is the line that the force vector is acting along. So if I've got some force vector, uh, the line of action would just be the line that kind of goes through that and um, it doesn't have to be on the vector itself. I can move it anywhere up and down this line. So if I go back to my little red wagon, uh, these two are interchangeable because the line of action uh, is the same. So <clears throat> the line of action of this front force, I can move it back because I'm moving along the line of action here. Uh, it wouldn't quite be the same. You'd have a small difference uh, if you change the line of action of the force. So if I take this force away uh, and instead I'm pushing further down on the cart, this would be slightly different. Uh, and a way to illustrate this is if you think about uh, something tall like a refrigerator. So if I push on the top of the refrigerator, it's going to tend to push the whole fridge over. If I've got the same magnitude and direction I'm pushing on the bottom of the refrigerator, uh, that's going to tend to slide the refrigerator uh, along the bottom. So Pulling on the top would not be the same as pushing on the bottom. Uh, so with that, <clears throat> that covers the principle of transmissibility. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again.